Fear is a great motivator and people sometimes do things they normally wouldn't do under these tense circumstances where they fear for their lives. During the health crisis, many people were told to get jabbed or in simple terms, they had contracted the virus before. Now, were you aware that natural immunity from getting the virus is one of the best, if not the best shot to protecting ourselves against viruses? There's more data that suggests that this is true for all of the C-19 variants, information that I wish we all had three years ago. I even have proof of doctors Anthony Fauci saying this about natural immunity. And I kid you not, I couldn't believe it myself. He was actually supporting natural immunity. But there's also screenshots that show that Big Pharma may have tried to hide the benefits of being naturally immunized compared to getting a jab. Hmm, I wonder what's in it for them. Why would they want people to just get a jab rather than relying on their natural immunity? Hmm, I wonder what's in it for them if more people get jabbed rather than just naturally getting sick and recovering on their own. Again, this is not to deter you or persuade you to get or not get jabbed. All I'm going to be providing you with in this video are the numbers and the data that you all deserve to know regarding natural immunity and the C-19 virus. Now, before I continue, please take a second, smash the like button for the video. As I know, I'm pushing a lot of buttons by making this video for you guys, but hey, pretty sure it's going to get suppressed. So any likes that you guys can drop on the video are totally appreciated, but I'm here to give you guys the facts. And if you're in need of your daily dose of the truth when it comes to global happenings, social security, SSI, SSDI, the state of our economy, the housing market, the stock market, and everything going on in Washington, D.C. that affects our lives, our families, and our bank accounts, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And for the best way to invest in gold and protect your assets, hit the link in the description down below for the best way to invest in gold. Guys, technology has come a long way, especially when it comes to what we can look for online. And it's also why some of the videos I'll be showing you guys today may seem dated, but believe me when I tell you that it's absolutely necessary that you watch them. So let's start with this video from 2004, where young Dr. Anthony Fauci was being interviewed about the flu vaccine. Uh, but she's had the flu for 14 days. Should she get a flu shot? Well, no. If she got the flu for 14 days, she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. And so she should if not she get it? If she really has the flu, if she really has the flu, she definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. Next, if she really has the flu. She right. should not get it again. No, she doesn't need it because the, it, it's, the be, it's the most potent vaccination is getting infected yourself. All right. So there you have it. Dr. Fauci says that the best vaccination is getting infected. So why are people who were infected with C-19 before being told to get jabbed? Well, if you ask Dr. Anthony Fauci, it could be due to the different variants that were popping up left and right during the health crisis. But recent studies have actually proven that getting infected with the C-19 virus itself protected you from all of the subsequent variants. Does that shock you? Well, the Lancet Medical Journal published a review of 65 studies that concludes all of this. And according to them, quote, immunity acquired from a C-19 infection is as protective as vaccination against severe illness and death, study finds, end quote. These aren't my words. They even found that prior infection offered almost 80% protection against reinfection from the original strain, alpha or delta variants at 40 weeks. Protection against Omicron was around 36.1%. The studies further show that natural immunity protected against severe illness for up to 90% against all variants after 40 weeks. This actually goes beyond getting two or even three shots of the mRNA vaccines. It also goes against what we've been told for like the past, what, three years? So yeah, this is actually huge news. The problem is that the government never took natural immunity into consideration. They never even thought of including it into their studies. Now, I don't know if this was intentional or accidental, but here is Senator Rand Paul basically providing all of the facts to Dr. Anthony Fauci. So what you're doing is denying the very fundamental premise of immunology that previous infection does provide huh. some sort of immunity. It's not in any of your studies. Almost none of your studies from the CDC or from the government have the variable of whether or not you've been previously infected. So let's look at adults. I've had three infections. Should I get a fourth one? If you're going to measure whether I get a fourth one, you need a, a, a category that has a fourth one in it and you need one that has nothing in it, no vaccine or the fourth vaccine. But you also need to know whether they've been infected. If you ignore whether they've been infected, you're ignoring a vaccine, basically. So you're ignoring a variable. So what you're giving us is this, the, you decry, and people decry vaccine hesitancy. It's coming from the gobbledygook that you give us. You're not paying attention right. to the science. The very basic science is that previous infection provides a level of immunity. If you ignore that in your studies, if you don't present that in your committees, 
you're not being truthful or honest with us. Although, let's look at the data that's readily available. This one from Cleveland Clinic that shows the relation of vaccine doses to the possibility of reinfection. Now, as you guys can see, the black line says that those who had no doses of the jab didn't get affected nearly as much as those who had three or more doses. But again, if you check the CDC's website, they actually tell you what to do if you were previously infected and recover from C19. Check this out. This is from their website. Quote, you should should get a C19 vaccine even if you already had C19. Getting a C19 vaccine after you recover from C19 infection provides added protection against C19. You may consider delaying your vaccine by three months from when your symptoms started or if you had no symptoms when you had a positive test. People who already had C19 and do not get vaccinated after their recovery are more likely to get C19 again than those who got vaccinated after the recovery. End quote. That's disturbing. Now, for context and and since you guys should realize what they base their answer on, the study that gave this data was based on just a month's worth of data that had 246 case patients. So not only was the study not long term, but their sample size was also very, very small. The new data that I've provided from the Lancet Medical Journal finds that the opposite of what's on the CDC's website is true. And the study from the Cleveland Clinic had a sample size of around 51,000 people, much larger than their previous CDC sample size of 246. Now, Additionally, and here's where things mix into conspiracy theory territory. A Pfizer board member, Scott Gottlieb, was not convinced of the effectiveness and the strength of natural immunity, so much so that he contacted a top lobbyist in Twitter's Washington office to shoot down this notion. Here, look at this. So this guy put that entire tweet about natural immunity being superior to vaccines, something that we now know in 2023 as a fact, as his entire subject to an email. That's just unbelievable. Now, he goes on to say that, quote, this is the kind of stuff that's corrosive. He draws a sweeping conclusion off a single retrospective study in Israel that has been peer reviewed, but his tweet will end up going viral and driving news coverage, end quote. In other words, shoot down this tweet before it becomes a hit. That tweet actually got tagged as misleading. Seriously? Now, why would a Pfizer board member want to take down a tweet that discourages people from having the need to get vaccinated and rely on our own body's capabilities to protect ourselves from a virus? Do you guys have any clues as to why that was got Leaves go to response. So what do you guys make of all this? Now, like I said from the beginning, you have the right to make your own choices about your body. I can't in good conscience not provide data and updates that you guys deserve to know about, but you be the judge. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I guess there is a lot of us that still feel very strongly about the health crisis and the response that was made for it. Given that many small businesses went bankrupt, Americans and our savings dried up, and now more of us are relying on credit cards and government subsidies, much more now than compared to before. Although, who knows when all of this may soon be cut off. We have to make moves that will protect our way of living for today and the future. And luckily, I'm the guy that you guys can talk to about, you know, starting side hustles, small businesses, both methods with the possibility of increasing and generating multiple streams of income if done properly. Now, of course, there's investments in the stock market, real estate, and of course, none of this matters if you don't have any control over your cash flow through budgeting. Now, if you guys want to learn more about this, feel free to join us over in the Patreon community. Links in the description down below. The path to financial freedom is not easy, but it's also not impossible. Now, before I go, guys, please don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video and subscribe for your daily dose of the truth. Appreciate you guys watching. Please be kind to one another and I'll see you on the next one.